olives and something, right? I'm gonna grab some olives and then a combination of flat leaf parsley and oregano and lots of lemons. Let's see. I'm gonna need a dish to marinate in and I'm gonna also need a dish for the chicken, I mean a dish for the hummus, so I'll grab those, that'll help me carry. Gotta have garlic. And out of the pantry, ah, sesame tahini for the hummus. And of course the star of hummus, chickpeas, nice big can of chickpeas. And then we need some red pepper flakes. Okay, get all these down carefully. Now you may be thinking already, hey, she's got a lot of fresh herbs there and she's got garlic, I don't know, is this a kid's meal? Guys, don't dumb down your kid's food. They become picky eaters when we give them nothing but the same old, same old every single week. You know what I mean? Believe me, if you get some of these flavors incorporated into chicken on a stick and anything they can dip, they'll try it. The trick is to get them in the kitchen with you and let them have some ownership of cooking. Cooking is such a great self-esteem builder for children. I mean, think about it. Think about the payoff for them. You take this big pile of ingredients, a few minutes later, there's something done, completely done, and it appeals to everybody's sense of everything. It appeals to all five senses, it's very visual. And then, even if they think they're not going to eat it, oh no, I'm not gonna have that. They're gonna be so filled with pride when the whole family sits down and says how delicious it is. Trust me, in no time, you'll break down even the pig yeast of eaters and get them eating right out of your hand and off of the plate. Anything you want. I'm going to drain off my chickpeas into my garbage bowl here. Kids really do seem to love hummus, don't they? I think it's the fun of dipping for them. So this one's just got a little Greek twist to it. We're going to put in some oregano. Here's a fun fact for the kids. Oregano means joy of the mountain in Greek. Isn't that fun? Somebody told me years ago and never left my brain. Oh, smells delicious. So one sprig of that. Some flat leaf parsley. That's been just about everything, right? Juice of a lemon. Gonna use a fork here. Zareemer. Scrape out the seeds. Put the fork in, and that helps you get all the juice out of there. Great. Scrape out our seeds. And this is the fun part for the kids when they get to squish stuff and add stuff in. It's very simple, of course, because the food processor does all the work for hummus. I think this is a really kid-friendly meal because it involves anything on a stick is always fun for them. And it involves dipping, too, because we've got dipping sauces and we've got the hummus. Plus, it's, it's easy for them to help, to be a part of. I'm going to put a little grater, a little hand grater, right over the food processor and grate some garlic in. Or you could find, chop it, and paste it up with some salt. That's so you get great garlic flavor without big pieces of garlic. Now we're going to put in a couple of rounded spoonfuls, rounded tablespoonfuls of tahini. That's what makes hummus taste so nutty and delicious. It's ground up sesame seeds. There we go. Mm -mm. Very good, but very rich. A little goes a long way. Some salt. Okay, process that up, drizzle in some EVOO, and I'm going to put the Kalamata olives in this too, but I don't want them to discolor the hummus itself. So what I do is I just stir it in at the end. There we go, now it's coming together. Oh, that looks good.
Now there's one chicken piece stuck on the side there. He's gonna be a real contender, isn't he? I'm gonna poke him back down in. You gotta be a part of the team here, guys. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's pull that blade out so it's easy to transfer. Scrape this down in. There we go. 